Another part of the software that's available with Traffic Hawk is the remote internet client. It connects via cell phone towers and uh, also can have Wi-Fi capability. Uh, it updates the remote client live as as activity happens right beside the device. Uh, here's an example of the Traffic Hawk client software. You have a list of vehicles that have passed by and the top one will be the latest and going down to the bottom being the earliest. So let's look at it as if it was live in the field right now and what would happen as these vehicles would pass by. So as we watch, the blue vehicle passed by and in the software it updates in the office wherever you are across the internet. We also have the next vehicle passing by and it's also updated as well. As you can see you get the date and time and of course the speeds underneath the pictures of each one. Now let's say we want to see several vehicles instead of just three at a time because you can't go through these one page at a time and view the vehicles but you want to be able to see a mass amount. Let's click on history. We can view at least 20 at one time. Uh, with this you can go through the different pages. At this point we don't have a lot of traffic on there so we've got two pages. Uh, the single arrows will take you through one page at a time. If you had several pages, this will take you to the end. And the left arrow will take you to the very beginning. If you want to get a better view of the tags, you can double click, double click on the image. It brings it full screen. And that's the uh, same picture we were looking at earlier. We get out of this. We can also bring it full screen from the toolbar as well. Let's look at the blue vehicle this time. Double click to bring it full screen, double click to take it back. Uh, another feature we have that is very useful, whether it's for personal use or to just keep track of uh, where you set up your device, the Traffic Hawk, is viewing weather. We have a simple uh, application here to view the weather patterns across the state of Florida that can be adjusted for your state or your location geographically. We'll close out of that. Another powerful feature we have based on customers' requests is what happens if the what happens if the device is stolen or if you just want to make sure it's placed in the right location. We have GPS capability. Uh, you can look at a current location and just make sure it's where it's supposed to be. And maybe you want to move it later. We can close out of that. We also want notifications if it happens to move. If you want to be notified, just simply we have another extra application. Oh, it, it rings in, it says traffic hall device has been moved. Do, what do I want to do? Do I want to ignore this because I know somebody is moving it? Do I just want to acknowledge that I know it's being moved? Or do I want to view where it's at right now? I want to view where it's at right now. Oh, the location's changed. Actually, beside MacArthur Beach State Park. That's that's basically going to show me exactly where I want to go. We can send a unit out or someone to go track it down. That being said, that's the basic usage of the client software. It allows you just in real time to know everything that's going on that you would like to know.